this is God and today I finally have flats I wasn't sure if this would be good for shining because they're kind of like a copper color and they may be a bit difficult to paint but they can get some shine definitely they're looking very dusty let me show you the tip yep it's very dusty but it's okay and the soles uh, don't look so worn they're like brand westies I forgot where I bought them but um, they're very comfy and today I am at Sullivan Park and I'm gonna get a flat shine <laughs> uh, I'm with Miguel again and he's very happy to make another video so let's get a flat shine yeah <laughs> sorry if I'm sounding congestion I think it's just the allergies you know like seasonal change comes with allergies Okay, let's get a flat shine then. <laughs> Hola, Miguel, ¿cómo estás? Hola, bueno, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por estos zapatos? Ay. Eh, de 25 pesos. 25, ok, gracias. Sí. Sí.
Bueno, muchas gracias. Sí, sí, gracias. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego, nos vemos. Buenas gracias. tardes. wanted to show you the result on these flats. I think he did an amazing, an amazing job. He took the time to carefully take the dust off, wash the leather, and also, uh, you know, like apply some grease to make them look so shiny. I think the tips looks really nice. They look so bright. Uh, I, I'm, like they really, really, really needed some, some cleaning. They were looking so like, Held and dark but now they're bright like you know and you can see they're like <laughs> you can see the real color the copper color I w wasn't a big fan of flats before because I thought my feet look pretty white you know like 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 here like white and you know I wasn't very like comfortable wearing them I felt all so self-conscious but actually now growing up yeah I can wear them no problem in the descriptions you can find my Instagram account in case you want to follow me 
my PayPal account in case you want to contribute some shoes to this channel and the location of this bar. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. So squeaky clean. Wow, it's very, very, very squeaky. Something interesting about this park is the skate park. I think that's part of making spaces for everybody. And, you know, I like how this park has adapted in the past few years to then the needs of all the people. I just love public spaces and I love public spaces in the afternoon and on the weekends. I don't know, they're just so full of life and feel so so chill. Well I hope you like this video. Bye. Hi, this is Kat and today, wow, wow, dog is so excited. <laughs> okay, hi, this is Kat and today I have these red high heels. Yeah, they're looking pretty, pretty, pretty sexy. Um, actually, they're looking all right, you know, like they're not scratched, just a little bit dusty here as you can see. But apart from that, I have kept them very well. And today we are in the Santa Maria La Rivera Park. I'm gonna get a shoe shine with Francisco and just maybe get some colors on these heels, you know, like more red, even more red than now, and make them super, super, super shiny. They are pretty um, stylish. I hope they go well with these trousers. These are one of my favorite trousers. I stopped using them because I didn't want them to get old. I've had them for like seven years maybe, yeah, a long time. And I was like, yeah, there's time for me to film a video with these trousers. Okay, so let's get a huge shine. Yep. <laughs> Hola, buenas Hola, tardes Francisco, buenas ¿cómo tardes? está? Cuéntame Cora por estas zapatillas. Sí, sí, gracias.
Listo. Muchas gracias, Francisco. Gracias. Por nada. Let me show you the amazing, amazing result on these red high heels. He really took the time to clean them, to apply some grease, and he applied some water at the tip of these heels to make them shine like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. I think that's a song, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he, for me, he did an amazing job. They look so red, they look ready for a party, and I think they also go well with these trousers. In the description you can find the location of Francisco Schuchenstein is in this beautiful park with a beautiful gazebo. Also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account in case you want to contribute some shoes to this channel, and yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> I hope you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. There is a language school, an apartment building, and a little like shopping, like center, like mall strip. I don't know what would be the name. And a temporary market here. They're getting ready for the sales of the day. It's a very quiet street. Yeah, sometimes there are buses selling stuff with speakers, so it can be a bit noisy. But apart from that, it's, it's pretty, pretty quiet. And so many dogs that get excited with the, uh, <laughs> with the, with being outside and meeting other dogs and yeah. I hope you like this video. Bye. Wow, birds. Dancing, flying around. <laughs> and so many dogs. So, so, so many dogs. This is Kat and today I have these caterpillar boots. These actually are not my boots. These are my cousins Andrea. Andrea, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for lending me these boots. They're very old and I brought them to the one that no can transform them. Machine man. We were just testing the colors here on the side if you can see. And yeah, we're gonna change the color a little bit. They're pretty old, <laughs> have a look at these, but they're actually very comfy. And for the purpose of this video, I'm sockless. But yeah, it's just for the purpose of this video, I normally wear my boots with uh, socks, but I, I had some, I didn't bring nice socks for the channel. I only brought some like very, 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 very um, warm, but not very good looking <laughs> socks. So I decided to make this video so glass. And I just can't wait to see the result on the Timberland boots. Okay, so let's get a boot shine. Hola, ¿qué tal, Machine Man? ¿Cómo estás? Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobras por estas botas? Pesos 40. 40, ok, sí, gracias. Adelante.
I wanted to show you the great transformation the machine man did it on these boots. Um, wow, they're looking like new. <laughs> I'm very impressed with the result. I, he said that uh, it will need more, like two or three more shines, so they look like perfect because you know it takes some time for the leather to to absorb and. Uh, the paint and the grease and everything so I'm, I'm very happy with the result I think he was very careful at cleaning them and I'm painting them and yeah wow I'm Andrea will be very very happy with these boots <laughs> She's, she'll be like what you want new boots for me <laughs> well in the description you can find the location of machine man also my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account in case you want to contribute some shoes to this channel and I'm trying to map all the places I've gotten a shoe shine in Mexico <laughs> so you can find the links uh, down below and find the closer shoe shiner to you. Thank you so much for everything, I'm very grateful for all the support and all the nice comments. Well, I hope you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye! I wasn't sure about showing you me, like, <laughs> I'm feeling this because uh, my manicure is so bad, you know, uh, my nails are very dirty, but I'll explain to you in another time. <laughs> but I want to tell you that the feel of this it's so smooth wow it, it feels it feels great okay bye
this is Kat and today I have these black leather high heels yep they're looking very sexy I think they go well with these jeans and today we are in Parque Santa Maria Rivera let me show you closer yep these are very dusty they're not so scratched but uh, yeah they definitely will need will need some shine have a look at the heel, they're very dirty here um, and I'm sure they're gonna shine like like at the diamond I will guess <laughs> after the shoe shine okay so let's get a heel shine hola buenas tardes Francisco, hola, buenas ¿cómo estás? ¿qué tal? ¿cuánto me cobra por estas zapatillas? Este, 20 pesitos 20 pesitos, ok, gracias Tengo tres pares.
la marca la verna, ¿no? Marca la verna y
Cristo. Muchas gracias, Francisco. No, gracias. Nada. Francisco, hasta luego. Nos gracias, vemos. Luego. Gracias. Let me show you the amazing result that Francisco did on these high heels. Uh, I think he really, really, really took the time to clean the shoes properly, to paint this black area and to apply some grease and make them so shiny. And he also was very careful of not painting this part. Um, he even cleaned the, this area, you know, the, the heel, the, the, the sole, I guess. Um, here this is just paint like from i don't know what let me know in the comment sections what you think about this hill shine with francisco in the description you can find the location of francisco shoe shine stand also my instagram account in case you want to follow me my paypal account in case you want to contribute some shoes or shoe shines to this channel and more information about these shoes and about the channel and about the area and also about Francisco. I know he's one of the favorite shoe shiners in the channel and I'm always, always, always so happy to film videos with him. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. This is the Santa Maria de Rivera Park. Now is almost 1 p.m. I think and it just looks so quiet and chill before there were some dogs making some noises like barking so excited but now I, I don't see them anymore there are other like small dogs or chihuahuas over there and you know a park dog here where dogs can play without the leash and yeah this is just one of my favorite parks in the area Hi, this is Kat and today I have this Dr. Martin Boots again. I went to a festival and they got so dusty because it was outside, um, there was just nothing but nature around it. So I'm gonna get a shoe shine today. I'm in Oaxaca City and I found a shoe, shine, shoe shiner with a shoe shine box and I was like, I'm gonna make a video. <laughs> They're very dusty, as you can see. You will see the end result at the end of this video. Well, okay, let's get a boot shine. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por las botas? 25. 25, ok, gracias.
llama? Me llamo Ringo. Ringo, mucho gusto, Ringo. Yo me llamo Katia. ¿Es usted aquí de la ciudad de Oaxaca? Sí, sí, o... sí, sí de aquí, del, de la colonia. Del... Sí, de, de aquí. De... Ah, ah, bien. ¿Y, y eh, cuántos años lleva en, en este oficio? 30 años. Ah, guay. ¿Y cuántos años tiene usted entonces? 37. Ah, o sea, desde pequeño empezó. Sí. Oh, ¿y, ¿Y cómo aprendió usted? Con un colega que ya no vive. Ah, bien. Él le enseñó así como todo. Sí, sí. ¿Pero era más grande que usted cuando él enseñó? O... Ah, sí, yo tenía como unos siete años. Siete sí, tenía años. unos 27. Por ahí. Ah, bien. Ah, ah, ¿Y alguien en su familia, por ejemplo, ha sido también hacedor de calzado? Eh, o... Hermanos. 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 Ah, bien. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno. ¿Y qué eh, ahorita por lo de la pandemia les afectó mucho? Sí, la... sí, nos afectó bastante. Sí, híjole. ¿Y ahorita cree que las cosas van recuperándose poco a poco? Sí, o... poco a poco. ¿Poco a poco? Sí. sí. Poco. Ah, qué bueno. Porque antes era, pues yo me imagino que muchos de las oficinas, cosas así, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Pero con eso, ¿cómo está cerrado aquí la...? Sí. El municipio. El municipio, sí. Y, por ejemplo, usted casi siempre anda por esta sí, zona. Sí, sí, aquí, o Santo Domingo. Ah, ah, ya, ya. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno. Sí, porque estaba caminando por allá y no encontré ninguno de estos. Me vine por acá y dije, ay, 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 un señor. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Y siempre he estado con una, sí, con, con un con, cajoncito? Sí, con, con, con. Ah, qué bueno. Bueno, bueno, muchas gracias por, por la ayuda y por los... Sí, gracias. Eh. Eh, sí, gracias, gracias a usted. Eh. Gracias, hasta, eh. luego. Gracias, hasta luego. Nos vemos. I want to show you the result on these boots. Uh, they were looking so dusty and dirty and I'm glad now I can walk on the streets of Oaxaca again with clean boots. I'm wearing these boots with some black socks. You can't see them but it would be pretty much impossible to wear them sockless. Um, so hot right now to be honest but they're okay for walking around the city yeah um have a look how shiny they are like he really 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 took the time to to shine them and yeah let me know in the comment sections what you think about this outfit this skirt with boots do you like the style <laughs> You can even see the reflection here at the tips, so shining. Wow, um, <laughs> ready to go to a festival again and get them dirty <laughs> and then shine them, shine them again. <laughs> In the description, you can find the location of this plaza. I mean, uh, not of the sushi stand because it wasn't a sushi stand, it was a, a, a sushi box. And it, but you can find the location of this plaza in case you're interested. Also my Instagram account in case you wanna follow me and my PayPal account in case you wanna contribute some shoes to this channel. I really, really enjoy Oaxaca. Every time I come here, it's just so magical. I hope if you have the opportunity to come to Mexico, you should visit Oaxaca, it's so magical. Well, I hope you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> you can see in the background the watermelons of Rufino Tamayo. I want to show you this plaza in Oaxaca. There are so many watermelons there and it's an, like an intervention, I would say, interpretation of Rufino Tamayo's work. Rufino Tamayo was a Oaxacan painter and one of his most famous uh, paintings is like a watermelon and that's why many artists just decided to like take his work as a reference and you know express their own art i really really like this plaza you can see the the church here and then i like how it's like on a hill and you can see the city of Oaxaca in the background. Wow.
people. Bye. Oh, wow, pigeons. Wow, that's very magical. Hi, this is Kat and today I have these black leather shoes. I got them transformed in this channel and now I'm just gonna get some shine. I'm in Querétaro right now. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video uh, how this part looks like and I hope you like it. Well, it's a little bit hot now so yeah, I'm sockless <laughs> and, and I walk really close to this this beautiful square and I decided to get the shoe shine. Please uh, keep watching till the end of the shoe shine so you can know more about the shoe shiner story. Okay, so let's get a shoe shine, yay! Hola, buenas tardes, ¿qué tal? Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobra por los zapatos estos? <laughs> 25. 25, okay, sí, gracias.
Listo, amiga. Muchas gracias. ¿Unas preguntas? Sí, de eh, la reina. ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Yo? Sí. José Luis Martínez Juárez. Ah, mucho gusto, José Luis. Yo me llamo Katia. Sí. ¿Y cu cuántos años lleva en este oficio? Aquí tengo 30 y... 37 años. ¿En este mismo sí, lugar? Aquí sí. en este mismo lugar. Ah, bien. ¿Y, y cómo comenzó usted eh, en este oficio? ¿Quién le enseñó? No, o... mira, este, mi padre era, trabajaba aquí desde de policía. Uh -huh. Entonces yo tenía, pues más bien él me enseñó a bolearle su, sus botas. Ah, sí, porque necesitaba como ser, sí. estar presentable por lo de eh, sí, policía. Sí, todos los días se las bolean y ya en la tarde que llegaba, bueno, entonces que bolear para que se fuera temprano. Entonces ya, ya de ahí pues este, aprendí y estuve de, en el jardín de aquí abajo también de bolero. Ah, ah aquí en el, el principal. Otro, Ajá. Sí. Ahí también estuve de bolero, entonces ya después este, me dediqué a lo de mesero a los eventos y luego trabajé con los Torres Landa ahí en Curiquilla, en la Plaza de Toros, en el, en el restaurante y los eventos que había y ya después este, pues ya me diría que pues ya también polera ya me diría que a, 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 sí, a, a lo de bolero ah, ¿y, ¿y cuántos años tiene usted? 77. 77, oh bien. Y este, y, y por ejemplo, ¿cuánto estuvo trabajando allá? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Allá estuve solo poco, como unos ocho años. Ah, pero también en una sí, silla, un así. Banco de esos, pero no era, eran diferentes, era un banquito chico, ah, no como el que hay ahorita. Así que ya tienen otro diseño. Sí, porque esto nos lo dio este Antonio Calzana, oh, por bien. parte del municipio. Ah, porque to, todos son eh, iguales, ¿no? Sí, sí lo, que, lo que estaba sí, todos viendo. Son iguales. ¿Y eso tiene muy poco que lo hicieron? No, es que hace unos como 5 o 6 años. Ah, pues sí, no tanto. Sí. Y, y por ejemplo, ahorita con lo de la pandemia, sí les pegó bastante. No, bastante. Sí. Nos, nos cerraron aquí y no podíamos trabajar. Entonces, después. Pues, este, ah, cerraron toda esta placita. Sí, el secretario ah. fue a ver a, a Tanzana, pues que nos diera chance, que nos dejara de aquel lado. Porque quitaban las mallas de allá y todo. Lo acaban de quitar esto, las mallas apenas hoy en la mañana. Ah, apenas hoy. Sí, hoy en la mañana. Ah, no sé. Porque nomás aquí, nomás estaba aquí más cerrado, aquí duró más tiempo. Ajá. Ah, sí. Y entonces apenas está empezando a recuperar el. Sí. Sí, oh, pena, sí. Qué pena escuchar Estaba, eso. Y, y por ejemplo, sus mayores clientes eran eh, como personas que trabajaban en sí, el aquí área. En el gobierno. Ah, es que este es el, el, el palacio, ¿verdad? Está, este. Está, está, ahorita está este Pancho Domínguez. Y por ejemplo, ¿ustedes aquí tienen un sindicato? Sí. Sí, ah, sí no. está es el sindicato de la, C, la CTM. Ah, qué bueno. Sí. Ya poco a poco se va a pintar. Ah, qué bueno. Qué bueno escuchar eso, la sí. verdad, porque sí estuvo muy dura la situación y para todos. Y luego todo. también que no, ya, que, que no, ya, no me dejaba salir, que por, por la edad. Por la edad. Y me dice Dios que no. Ay, qué no, bueno, la no verdad. Me qué puse bueno. enfermo. Mejor unos amigos que son más chicos. Sí. Como unos seis de mis amigos que conocí. Les pegó la epidemia esta. Y... Entonces, los cajones, el de aquel lado se murió de eso. Y ya un hermano de él, el otro. Un hermano de aquellos dos que están allá, no de amigos. Bueno, muchas gracias por, sí. por la boleada y por su ayuda. <risa> gracias, hasta luego. Sí, anda, no. Gracias. He sells wheat for the pigeons. I wanted to show you the result on these shoes. They didn't need it much because they were already you know like in pretty good condition but they look so 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 shiny now look at the tip the tip looks just <laughs> so amazing I can see my own reflection in the mirror and yeah it's just a quick shoe shine to keep going with the day and, <laughs> and enjoy the city in the description you can find my Instagram account in case you want to follow me my paypal account if you want to contribute to some shoes to this channel and yeah i think that's <laughs> oh sorry i get so nervous sometimes and i just forget what i'm about to say 
but yeah uh, let me know in the comment sections if you like this shoe shine and what you think about the shoe shine your story and if you also like this square it's very beautiful and he was telling me that it was closed during the pandemic but now it's all open again which i think is great okay i hope you like this video uh, subscribe thumbs up and see you in the next video bye have a look at this fountain pigeon fountain it's just a, such a beautiful park it looks very quiet and sunny but there are some places to sit on there is some live music over there and some people selling crafts also um, we can find uh, some like art exhibition i think and i don't know it just looks so peaceful to me i like these arches and the shaded trees <laughs> and many people come here to feed the pigeons they are just lovely animals Okay, I hope you like this video. Bye! Hello, I'm Kat, and today I have these black like heel boots. To be honest, these have become one of my favorite boots, and I've been wear wearing them so much recently. And today I am on Insurgente Street. I'm wearing these um, trousers, they're very comfy, and I'm about to get a shoe shine. These boots are not looking so dirty, but you know, a little bit, they need some shine to wear them again, to dance with them again and I'm very excited to have them clean again and shiny and looking so, so beautiful okay, let's get a boot shine <laughs> sorry, I just got so distracted okay, let's get a boot shine, yay! Viva México, cabrones, viva! Buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto me cobra por las botas? Ah. 30. ¿no? 30. Ok, sí. va. Gracias. Estas botitas están chidas, ¿eh? Gracias. Sí.
Muchas gracias. I wanted to show you the amazing result on these shoes. <laughs> I think they're really, really, really shiny. Um, yeah, have a look. It just shines with the with the sun and. And I think I'm ready to dance with them again. I didn't include an interview because the shoe shiner, Jorge, didn't like the idea of being interviewed. So he just shared his name with me and that he has been working in this same spot for 30 years. He also said that in 2017, after the earthquake in Mexico City, Many of his, uh, like office buildings around the area were damaged and you know some of his clients never came back and then after that the pandemic happened and yeah the workload is not as good as before. He was really nice, he was very chatty, he told me so many things but he didn't want to be interviewed so I respect that. I wanted to show you that, look, it just looks so, 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 so shiny. He was very careful at, at shining the leather and the tips just look so amazing. Look, the tip just, I can see my own reflection and the reflection of the camera in the mirror, like a mirror. <laughs> in the description, you can find my Instagram account in case you want to follow me, my PayPal in case you want to tip me, and some information about the shoeshine stand. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye. This massive bus is the metro bus. It's a mass transportation system. Yep, it has three big wagons. It looks huge. <laughs> Look, this is the one. Yeah. Well, bye. Hello, this is Kat, and today I have this like heel. Um, I'm not sure how you call them, like closed shoes. Um, let me know in the comment section, please, if you know the right name for these shoes. I've used to wear them when I was working in an office, and so that's why they look still a little bit clean. But there's always, always, always time for some shine. We are in the Santa Fe, Centro Santa Fe. And Santa Fe is like a wealthy area at the west of Mexico City and there are so many office spaces. So this is the perfect place to get some office shoes <laughs> shine. As you can see here, there are no scratch. Uh, the leather is still in pretty good condition. The heels are very dirty. Yep, very dirty and worn and let's see what it can be done about it. I found a shoe shine station here in this plaza and it's very different to the places where I've gotten a shoe shine before. So I thought it was a good idea to make it. Okay, let's get a heel shoe shine. <laughs> Hola, buenas tardes. Hola, ¿cuánto, cuánto me cobra por los zapatos? Ah. Por esos Estos, zapatos, sí, por 40. 40. Pesos. Ok, bueno, gracias. Sí, dame un segundo. Sí.
Pásale y toma asiento ahí. Por Gracias. Favor.
servido. Gracias, muchas gracias. Al contrario, gracias a ti. Eh, ¿Le puedo hacer unas preguntas? Claro. Sí, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Mauricio Bastidas. Mucho gusto, Mauricio. Yo me llamo Katia. Mucho gusto. ¿Y cuántos años lleva en este oficio? Este, 13 años. Trece. ¿En este mismo lugar? O? Sí, en ¿Sí? este lugar, sí. Ah, ¿Y cómo comenzó usted? Este, pues me quedé sin trabajo y hubo la oportunidad de, uh -huh. de estar aquí y vine y este, me apre, este, mi tío me enseñó. O sea, su tío ya había trabajado. Él, ya, él, él fue el que creó todo esto. Ah, qué bueno. Ajá, el concepto, todo este, se puso a estudiar porque aquí, como te podrás dar cuenta, es como una bolería VIP. Ajá, sí, ¿Sí? por el área también. Ajá. Así es, entonces, el tipo de calzado que ves aquí, bueno, pues es, es calzado de alta gama y nosotros aquí hacemos todo eso. Tenis, gamusa, notebook pieles exóticas, ah, como bolsas. De... Ah, también bolsas. También bolsas. Allá tengo una bolsa que ya ah, está sí. este, terminada. Está restaurada, está pintada. Oh, ya. Y a... Hola. Y esa, y esa bolsa que, que ves allá Ajá. también ya está terminada. Ah, bien. Es limpieza profunda de... De la piel. ¿Y, y la pintan también o solo es limpieza? Este, si es necesario, se pinta. Ajá. Si no... Normalmente aquí las tratamos con ceras y, y cremas. Y cremas, oh, y cremas. ok. Así es. Oh, yeah, yeah. En la bolería ya aquí en, 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 este, en Santa Fe tiene 14 años. Ah, bien. Yo tengo aquí 5 años. 5 años, oh, yeah, yeah. Sí, pero el iniciador de todo fue mi tío don Roberto Castro. Oh, ok. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno. Sí. Entonces él aprendió solo, se puso a estudiar. Pues y más dijo... bien, este, le llegó esa, esa idea, este, la oportunidad, y, y te digo, independientemente, pues ya ves que esto es un oficio, ¿no? Sí. Y, y eh, pareciera que todo se, se va aprendiendo de, de, de generación en generación o de boca en boca. Ajá. Sin embargo, pues te digo, para poder tener este, este índice de calidad, uh -huh. se puso a estudiar el tratamiento de las pieles. Sí, por qué productos hay que ponerle, qué sí, qué no, y entonces pues de ahí empezó y obviamente pues la fue acrecentando, fue creciendo esto. Estos son servicios terminados, uh -huh. no porque los haya hecho yo, pero parecen como nuevos, ¿no? Y sí. realmente no son sí, zapatos se ve... nuevos, si sí. te das cuenta. Pero por ejemplo, pues, o se, se ven súper limpios. <risas> sí, bueno, entonces, obviamente te digo, esto yo lo aprendí de él, este, todo eso, pero él te digo, tuvo que estudiar, tuvo que ver qué sí se le pone, qué no, qué productos no son dañinos para la piel y todo. Sí, porque aparte de eso es Dolce Gabbana. Así es. Sí, es como de, ah, sí está, sí, son bueno, zapatos caros. Que están aquí son unos Louis, Louis oh, Vuitton. Sí. Entonces, estos son sí. de mezclilla. Oh, y eso también me imagino que debe ser muy difícil sí, limpiarlo, ¿no? Sí, no, porque no los puedes mojar como no. tal, porque si tú los mojas o le pones eh, jabón convencional, uh -huh. los este se ponen unas manchas amarillentas. Uh -huh. ¿Y, ¿Y usted cuántos años tiene? Yo 50. 50. Uh -huh. Y ya de hecho, bueno, yo ya estoy aquí pues el tiempo completo de las 11 a las seis y media de la tarde, de lunes a sábado. Ah, bueno, sí, domi sí para descansar el domingo, Así sí. Es, sí. Aquí, en la plaza, este, en la plaza está rodeada de, de muchos corporativos, de muchos corporativos. Entonces, te digo, este era mi 80%, zapato formal y boleada rápida y todo. ¿No? Porque venía la gente y me decía, oye, ¿sabes que este Tengo, tengo una... junta. Entonces, dale una chalaneada y va. Pero te digo, ahora ya, ya cambió, ahora es, ahora es esto. Pues nada más que este, pues esta es una bolería, este, eh, no solamente VIP, sino obviamente para toda. Y aquí la verdad es que yo este, amo mucho lo que hago y lo hago con, sí. con gusto y con profesionalismo. Sí, oh, Entonces, muchas El día gracias. que quieran, vénganos a visitar. Sí, muchas gracias. Gracias a ti. Mucho gusto. Igualmente. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, bye. bye. Oh, gracias, nos vemos. Estén bien, gracias. Have a look at the result. <laughs> they look really shiny. Um, I can see the reflection of the dome in my shoes, on my shoes, on my shoes. Yeah. Um, he started cleaning this part, and I think um, it looks better. Let me know in the comment sections what you think about this shoe shiny. 
I think that is really, really, um, <laughs> really shiny. In the description, you can find the page and the location of this shoe shine. Also, my Instagram in case you want to follow me, my PayPal account if you want to contribute to this channel. Um, I, I'm really happy with the result to be honest. Um, they look ready to go to the office again and ready for a meeting. Well, I hope you like this video. Subscribe, thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye! This is a shopping center where I got my shoe shine and there is a big beautiful dome. Um, the layout of, of this <laughs> shopping center is very weird, very very weird. So I'm not gonna show you around, it's just another shopping center. Cat. and today I have this like copper like golden color high boots <laughs> to be honest I really like them I really like uh, the color I really like how they fit on my on my feet and I'm sure maybe this won't need some paint but at least some shine and you know some grease to hydrate the, the leather uh, <laughs> They, they have a, like a nice pointy tip and the heel, let me show you yeah, the heel is, is pretty comfortable uh, actually they look a little bit tall but they're, they're pretty comfortable I'm in Mexico City in Paseo de la Reforma this is Paseo de la Reforma one of the most like famous avenues in Mexico City and over there is the Zócalo and the Alameda Central like two important landmarks here as you can see, the tips are a little bit scratched, but I think pretty much everything else looks pretty good. Okay, so let's get a boot shine. Ooh, wow, <laughs> it's very nice, yeah. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto me cobra por las botas? 25 pesos. ¿25? Okay, gracias.
¿Le puedo hacer unas preguntas? Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Efren. Efren, ah, mucho gusto, Efren. Yo, sí, yo me llamo Katia. Ah, sí. ¿Y cuántos años lleva trabajando en este oficio? 22 años. Ah, ¿en este mismo lugar? Sí. Aquí, aquí en este sí. mismo. Oh, ya. Ah, ¿y usted cómo aprendió? Pues, trabajando, aprendiendo uno, ¿no? Porque cuando empieza uno, no, no le sale uno bien, ¿no? Muchas veces los mismos clientes te van diciendo cómo lo tienes que hacer. ¿Sí? No sabía eso. Oh, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Y, este, ¿Y usted cree que, por ejemplo, que ha cambiado mucho la manera en la que las personas se volean los, eh, los zapatos antes y ahora? O sea, ¿hay más perso menos, menos personas ahora? Sí, actualmente sí hay menos. Antes sí había más trabajo. Pero pues, es que luego actualmente hay muchos zapatos que no que no se volea. Oh, como tenis sí, o todo eso. Todavía son pocos los que usan zapatos. Sí. Oh, y aquí, por ejemplo, porque como es un área un poco como de oficinas, pues todavía... Pues sí, alguna... Todavía gente de oficina, ¿no? Que oh. traen zapatos. Ah. Pero la mayoría traje todos tenis. Oh, ¿Y hace usted limpieza de tenis? También. ¿También? Sí, ah, también usted tuvo que, que adaptar para... Ah, también se puede lavar. Oh, ya. Sí. Y, y este... Y ahorita por lo de la pandemia, por ejemplo, les afectó sí, a... muchísimo, ¿eh? ¿Estuvo aquí Otra... trabajando o cerró un Yo rato? Sí, dejé de trabajar unos meses, pero todavía no se compone así como estaba. ¿Pero cree que ya poco a poco al poco, menos...? Poco, sí, se puede decir que un poco mejor, ¿no? Así al 100%, pues no. No, no. Sí, porque creo que hay varias oficinas que todavía no han regresado. Sí, mucho. mucho. La verdad, hay muchos clientes que se fueron y ya no, ya no los he visto. ¿Y usted es de aquí, de la Ciudad de México? No, yo soy del estado de Oaxaca. Ah, yo también. Sí. Ah, sí. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Y cuántos años tiene usted? Yo tengo 57. Ah, ya. Sí. Bueno, muchas gracias, ah, muchas gracias. Gracias. Sí. to show you the result on these boots. Like I said, these boots don't need painting, but they needed some shine to hydrate the leather. Let me show you the tips. They're looking a lot better. I think the grease helps the, the leather to, to moisturize. <laughs> this is something a little bit silly and funny, but these kind of remind me of the Vegeta uh, boots, you know, Dragon Ball, uh, uh, Japanese anime. In the description you can find the location of this shoe shine. Also, my Instagram in case you want to follow me or my PayPal link in case you want to contribute to this channel. I'm also trying a new feature which is the Amazon wishlist. Um, you can have a look in case you want to contribute to some shoes to the channel. Well, I hope you like the video, subscribe, thumbs up. Hi, <laughs> almost full. Thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye! I wanted to show you that here in Mexico City we have a, like a bus system called Metrobus and it's like a, it's a massive transportation system and now like the new line has double-decker buses like in, in London and I think in other parts of the world as you can see here, yay! I read that uh, Mexico bought them from the in England. <laughs> I read that Mexico bought these double-decker buses from the England government, and now we have them here. Uh, these are very good for this this area because there's not a lot of space to have the massive buses that the other uh, metro buses lines have. I think it looks like, <laughs> I don't know, it, it gives a little bit of the feeling that you may be in London. <laughs> also here, this building is a national lottery building. And this is a sculpture called a caballito, like little horse. 
and the Saudi Taxes Institute building. Yeah, taxes. <laughs> uh, and here there are like two newspapers, offices. Uh, yeah, this is a big note in, in the city. I wanted to show you this so you get a little bit familiar with the area and get to know where, where I'm located right now. Bye! Hello, I'm Kat, and today I have this black or blue, dark blue, I'm not sure, Nabok shoes with laces. I'm gonna get them paint this time, uh, so, you know, so they don't look so old anymore. You can see here at the tip they're very worn and scratched, and they look old. So I brought them to Francisco to see what he can do to make these shoes look better. Okay, let's get a shoe. Shining Restoration, <laughs> yeah. Hola Francisco, hola, hola. ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Eh, ¿Cuánto me cobras por los zapatos? 20 pesos. 20? Ok, sí. gracias.
Bismillah. Listo, chica. Bueno, muchas gracias, Francisco. Hasta luego, que gracias. Muy bien. Quedaron muy brillantes, guau. Wow. <risa> sí veo el cambio de, de cómo estaban antes. Mira. <risa> Qué gran transformación, sí. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego, Nos vemos. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Nos vemos. Adiós. Hasta luego, Francisco. Adiós, gracias. Adiós. Nos vemos. I wanted to show you the amazing, amazing result on the issues. Wow, um, <laughs> I'm very impressed to be honest. Um, he, he took the time to clean this part and paint it, and he applied some cream here and grease, 
and wow, they're looking so shiny and the color is more intense. He's definitely a pro, like he always makes my shoes look like new again. Please find in the description the location of Francisco's shoeshine stand. This is a beautiful park to visit. And so if, in case you're in Mexico City, you can come and visit this park and get a shoe shine. In the description, you can also find my Instagram account in case you wanna follow me, my PayPal account, in case you wanna contribute to this channel, or a new feature I'm trying out, which is the Amazon wishlist, in case you wanna contribute some shoes to this channel. Well, I hope you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. Bye! I wanted to show you a little bit more of the park where Francisco works. Uh, I think they're, they're filming something over there or maybe a photo shoot. And I'm gonna show you Francisco is all the way there. Right, right well not right, but you know, behind the gazebo. Uh, this is a very famous gazebo here in Mexico City. It's called Kiosco Morisco. And it's well known for its architecture and structure. I'm gonna show you a little bit inside so you can see and have an idea of where I'm getting my shoe shine. Oh, look at this. This detail is really beautiful. As you can see, many people come here just to chill and enjoy the afternoon. Let me show you here the dome. I hope you like this video. Bye.